Okay, in this brief video tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use uh, PowerPoint to save a presentation as a movie and include it in your WordPress blog. So the first thing I'm going to do is pop over to PowerPoint here. You'll see I just have a, a simple little test PowerPoint presentation here with a couple of slides on it. And um, this is a quick, easy way to take this and put it on your WordPress blog without having to save it as a web page or anything like that, because sometimes that can be difficult. So what we're going to do is go File and save as movie and that's going to allow us to give it a name so we'll just leave it as presentation one we'll click save I'm going to replace because I already did this once before um, alright so now that's saved as a simple movie file in fact even if we go in our Mac uh, documents folder here you'll see presentation one it is going to open in QuickTime it's loading QuickTime and there it is and if I click this it'll just play a simple little QuickTime movie of all my slides um, if you have effects in there and animations and stuff, um, it'll play those as well. So we'll close that. Now we're going to jump over to our blog. This is our Twin Harbor blog. And um, what you want to do is just log into the admin. So right after your .com or .net um, at the slash, add WP admin, WP hyphen admin. And that's going to take you to the login page. Um, in my case, it remembered I was logged in, so you may have to enter your name and password there. Um, now we're going to do is just let's add a new post and put that movie on it. And so what we do is go to posts. You might have to expand this and go to add new. And we'll just call this presentation tests. Now we're going to go into the body of our message. And the first thing we can just go ahead and add it right now is click this link here, which is add video. It's the second link on the, that little strip of uh, tools there. Um, we can hit select files from our computer here. And I'll just find presentation one. There it is. Select it. And you'll see it's uploading it right here. It takes a couple seconds to upload. If you have a long presentation, it may take a few minutes. Um, so you can change the name right here. So we'll just call it test presentation. And the other thing that's important you have to do here is pick what the link URL is because it won't embed it in the page using this method, but it will create a link to it. So generally what I say is just click the file URL and that's going to, as you'll see, just create a link right to it. So you hit insert into post and what that's done here is create a hyperlink which links right to the movie file so people can play it in their browser. So sometimes what I'll do right here is actually change the text of the link. So something along the lines of click here. Oh, now sometimes that happens and I'm going to show you a trick to fix that too. Let's undo that is I'll insert into here and say click here to view the presentation and then delete the edges. Sometimes, depending on your browser, it'll do what it just did there and break the link. So you click that and you can add more text to your post below, before, after, anything. Then when you're done, we'll go ahead and click publish. And it's posting, and once it's try it again here, so it's just going a little slow. Um, once it does that, we will view okay. So now that I clicked it, it went just a little browser hang up there. Um, what it's going to do, I hit update post, we'll do it again. Actually, we'll save it again. Yeah, then you can go back and view the post. You're going to have the link right here to view the post. You can view it just to see what it looks like on your blog. And it's going to create a new post with a link. So let's just try the link. Click here and you'll see it immediately loads in your browser to play the movie. And it works like that. And that's how you do that.